here we are with another 9.3 test server match, this time in the Object 430. Now, you may ask why I'm playing a tank I already have on the NA server and play a lot there. Uh, the reason is it was actually buffed, which is nice. It could always use a little more love. If I was a smart man, I would have written down a list of the changes and be reading off it right now, but unfortunately I am not a smart man, so I can't honestly remember what the full list of, of changes was. Um, but I believe their effect was basically to give it slightly, very, very slightly better gun handling on the move. It's still quite a lot worse than the T-62 and Object 140, as you can plainly see. Uh, the other change was actually to give it higher DPM than either of those. So this is actually now the highest DPM Soviet medium at 3000 damage per minute compared to 2909 for both the 140 and the T62, both have identical DPM. The armor hasn't been changed, uh, the mobility I think may have been very 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 slightly tweaked but generally it drives the same way it used to. The intention at Wargaming was to make this into your sort of shock breakthrough medium tank, which is essentially what it already was. Um, it's just slightly better at it now because of the higher DPM. I was hoping for an HD Model 2, but unfortunately no. <laughs> it's uh, not getting one this patch. Maybe next time. Now, my play here, especially in this part, isn't the best. I don't even know where that shot went. Playing on the NA server with 250 ping is one thing, playing on the test server with 380 ping is another entirely. Especially when you're having issues with packet loss, as I was on and off throughout the, the night where I was uh, playing these games. And so, you're going to see a lot of sloppy play, a lot of missed shots that shouldn't have missed, so on and so forth. It, honestly, you're going to have to put up with it, because I do as well. It's not ideal, I know, but until I live somewhere a little bit closer to the test server, I can't really do any better. Um, there was, for one test server iteration earlier in the year, there was actually a, a US test server, and uh, that was quite a lot better for me. But I don't think they plan on doing that again anytime soon. So once again, as I said, the um, accuracy on the move isn't really significantly changed. It's still quite poor. I say quite poor, I mean I'm comparing to the other two Soviet tier 10 mediums, which are the best on the move shooting tanks in the game, basically. So, I mean, that's not really a fair comparison. It's still about the same level as the T-54. So, compared to most other countries, uh, tier 10 mediums, it's not bad. But it's certainly not an on-the-move sniper like the T-62 and 140R. But once again, the intention of Wargaming is for this to be sort of your, your shock breakthrough tank, and so most of your shooting is supposed to be done at close to medium range, where the accuracy isn't really a problem. Now here, looking at the map, I've driven myself between two groups of, two sizable groups of enemies. It's a big risk, but I hoped that the one, the, the uh, 430's camera, sorry, would get me up here okay, and sure enough it did. In fact, I'm not lit until this guy basically drives into me. The reason I was kind of apprehensive is obviously I have a lot of very big scary things behind me. Uh, thankfully I was on the edge of their render range. Now, another change that's actually worth noting in 9.3 is ammo racks no longer blow turrets off all the time. They still do it, but not 100% of the time. What happened is Wargaming changed a lot of the effects, so now different causes of death will cause different explosions, different fires, so on. And here you can see a big fuck up I'm about to do. Oh. There's a Waffentrager there. This is where my own sense of object permanence is about on, on par with the puppies. I forgot he was there. Well, not so much forgot he was there as I didn't realise he was pushed up so far. Um, now that mistake would have resulted in a lot of hit points being lost in any or uh, against any other tank, but 
against a Waffenträger, it's death. You, if you get lit in front of a loaded Waffenträger, there's nothing you can do, you're dead. I could have backed away from that bush before firing. Honestly, I'm not sure it would have helped any, or from the fallen tree, I'm not sure it would have helped any against that thing. Its view range is just too good. Actually, uh, I may, during this test iteration, play a couple of matches in the Waffentrager and see if I can get a video up just to show it hasn't, the nerf, so-called nerf, hasn't affected it at all. It's still overpowered as shit. It's just got one less shot to clip people with. And here our 121 is actually carrying the game for us. So there you go. Turrets can still fly off and for some reason that one made a splashing sound as it did so. I think it depends on how much HE is being carried by the tank or where the actual rack gets hit. I'm not sure. Maybe the, the ammo rack design of the tank factors into it as well. Um, I'm sure somebody else will be able to explain it better than me. R121 playing pretty smartly, uses the wreck as cover so he can't be reset by lucky shots or by guys driving in like this. IS-7 shoots and hits the track of the wreck in front of him. Not the best match, but not a bad one. Uh, the other thing you'll actually notice in the post games for these 9.3 videos, I may as well talk about them now before I get too carried away with the actual replays, is that they've added a hell of a lot more awards. There are I think 10 or 15 new awards in the game. Uh, there's one, <laughs> a very good award, Fire for Effect. Uh, essentially, if you do more than your tank's own hit points in damage, you get that award. So, if you know what you're doing, you should be getting one of them nearly every match. There's uh, various achievements for setting tanks on fire so many times, uh, ammo racking them so many times, the little commemorative pin things, the diamond shaped ones. There's a couple of those. There's a couple of actual ribbons for doing it over and over again. Uh, there's awards for doing a certain amount of crits in a game, awards for doing a certain amount of spotting in a game, and awards for tanking d incoming damage. So IS-7, E100, and mouse players will be very happy with that, I think. Overall, um, I'm actually quite happy they're adding all these new awards. Some of them are kind of leaning towards being participation awards, but I mean, there's, there's already so many of those, it doesn't really matter. But most of the new awards actually encourage the kind of behavior they should be encouraging, like putting out damage, uh, you know, trying to actually spot things and tanking damage rather than suiciding. The, the problem is I think most puppies have no mental distinction between tanking damage and suiciding, so we're probably going to see a lot of heavy tanks just driving straight into the open. Uh, there's also an XP bonus now for tanking damage. Uh, it applies mostly to heavy tanks. It applies to a reduced degree, I think, to tank destroyers and mediums, and then it doesn't apply at all for artillery or light tanks. For obvious reasons, they should not be tanking damage. Anyway, thanks for watching, and of course there will be more 9.3 test games coming up soon, and then back to the regular queue. See you next time, and good luck in World of Tanks.